homies. And then you have on uh, this other ship will send out, you know, the, these other ships will warp in. The you base story mode, you'll get it. It's the same thing. They'll warp in, and you just you can take out all these other ships. You work together with your squads, and basically, the more people you you kill, plus AI kills, like the more you can stay on the attack. If they start hurting you or taking you down more, then they can switch it over and they can go on the attack, and then you on the defense, and that's just kind of how it works. And it goes back and forth, but it's fun. It's definitely fun. You definitely get to live like what it's like to like fly against like going against. You know, if you're ever a Star Wars fan, like watching the movies, like it's the same thing. Like, you're literally getting to be one of those starfighter war fights. Like, it's like, like you, know, this, you get to really get to see the size of the ships, bro. Like you think our ships are big? Like when you get to see those other ships, like there's different sizes to this shit. They're massive, and it's cool. Like you're flying across this like the other ship, you're like blowing it up. And hey, like, bro, get the wing! I just took down the generator. Afro, take it down now! Now I'm on you like ah! And you're flying, you're dodging a bunch of lasers. Two on your wing with one run real pilot. Come on, Afro, go! Cause you're like ah! <laughs> it's like war, bro. It's crazy. It's really crazy. It's like it's it's just so much intense because like you have so much stuff is going around, and it's literally just like that. Like you be taking down shields, defense system down, moving now. I just killed the Sharia on attack. Oh snap! Right, go go go! I'm switching to a bomber. I'm like, oh right, damn. Like, <laughs> bomber? Yeah, what? yeah. We got bomber ships. You know, there's there's different type of ships. <laughs> yeah, you'll learn. Like, yeah, he's like, damn bombers. Yeah, Look at the bomber ships. They go ham. They literally bomb. Annihilate. Mm, I don't know how I feel about this shit. Is my TV on? Or my TV on? Yo, turn it off. I, like, I, like, I think I like the Rebel shit better. I say a lot of people say that because they got shields. I don't really mind. Kind of like the Empire. Because they, they got the double engines. It makes it fun. But I like the, the view. The, the, the Rebel's view is oh. nice. I do. I gotta give it that. The Rebel has a way nicer view. Is that what you're gonna say? What's huh? up, Inverse? So the rebels do have a really nice view. I'm talking about the rebels. Oh, yeah. View. Yeah, you know, like, well, it depends on what ship you use on this, but like, yeah, the the rebels just like that. Oh, the way the ships are, you know, nice. Mm-hmm. It's just a nice. Oh thing. man, I feel like a pro right now. Wow, this is cool. Yeah, hell yeah. If you uh, if you're a PlayStation man, I'm not sure if it's still free, but the Squadron was our PlayStation Plus month for free man definitely great game it's it, yeah, 100% it's still cross free. it's still free you said 100% yeah, cross it, platform it Mobile should be platform. squadrons and street fighter right now yeah squadrons and street fighter you're here, here, here like it's you might as well get it. it's a great game it's been out for a long time it's cross platform on every every system you can even play your flat screen friends so if you don't have vr what's up decent welcome yeah, welcome to the stream i'm on quest yeah sadly it's not on quest Weird. You know, but, you know, I know, I know. Quest is not as. But damn, this guy's on. Hold on, stream. We gotta do some crazy flying real quick. I'm gonna die. I knew that. I went too fast. I drifted all around the videos. <laughs> But then I was like too fast and I couldn't slow down. I was like, wait, I'm rusty. Yeah, no, I can't slow happened. down. Something like that happened. I can't to me, slow like, down. <laughs> I, I was trying to slow down, like, I was staying really close to the rocks, and I wasn't getting shot, right? But then I crashed, and then I bounced right back into the rock and died. Yeah, if you're going too fast, you basically need another boost to help shoot you, and I ran out of boost. So my like, ship was just flying in a direction at full speed, I'm like, dang it. I'm gonna fly right into this ship and die. That's exactly what happened. I basically drifted out of one moment, and you know, after drifting, I'm just like, wait. I didn't angle myself right. I'm too fast. <laughs> oh, jeez. So yeah, she was like, "Damn, I didn't even know you could do all that." But yeah, guys, you do do a lot in this game. This game is definitely the beast knees. If, if, if you're on quest, R.I.P. Guys, I'm sorry to hear that, but it should be on Steam. Are you guys gonna play Rec Room after this? Oh, I'm not sure if we're playing Rec Room today. I might be playing. Definitely be playing Rec Room on Saturday or Sunday. So keep an eye out for that. If I want to play Rec Room today, I'll definitely be uh. Spoilers. Might say it might not happen, but you know. Definitely Saturday or Sunday. If I, if I get off of this, I might play Minecraft more to the hinge than uh, uh, back room, my friend. I was actually thinking of starting a new VR series today, but I was like, oh, my boy, uh, hold on, I need to get some help. 
Can we get some speed? I know they're walking off, trying to get fans and get out of there real quick. I thought I can get out of there. Uh, I was trying to uh, actually steal about starting a new VR series today. And then I was like, I ended up chilling with my homie. I was like, oh, I'm down for some. I had an itch for some squadrons. And he said he was down for some squadrons too. And we were down to hang out and play some games. I was like, alright, let's go. Say no more. Here I come. So I was like, that's what we're going to do instead. So. Uh, will I go put, start a new series after this? I'm not sure. Uh, so I, I know I've been very indecisive lately. Like, if any, if any most community members know that. Find our schedules like lately, man. I don't know, man. Life is just complicated, so I'm not really sure what I want to get into. But I still make content every day, which is I'm really just not sure what I want to do nowadays. I was like, what games to play? So I'm very indecisive. So I just kind of go. I, I, my main personality is a very go with the flow personality, so I know that doesn't really go with everybody being a streamer because I know you guys like to know and so people are like, hey, man, I like watching your streams, but I, I try to like plan around my day so I can at least make it to your stream. And that's not my fault, like being such a laid back go with the flow type personality, which I've really been struggling lately. But I know, like, it's, like, that's, I, I, I'm not giving you guys, like, definite answers. You're like, well, you're not really answering my question. So I'm like, my bad, guys. I just want to state that. Just got off Creed. That's what's up, guys. He going back on that win streak. <laughs> I just want to say that. My bad, though, guys, if, if that was the case, you know. But, you know, I'm just laid back. So I just hope that you guys enjoy that laid back and it's like oh like you know limitless being limitless you never know what reason to get into in that aspect. Have a good time. So what would I play after this? Could be Rec Room, could be Minecraft, or it could be a new uh, new series. Actually it might be some firewall too. Lately oh, uh, firewall, I, think... I need to download mine back. I yeah. have to make space because I have I have a tournament today on Google. And me and a couple of friends found it. Oof, I'm um, far died. On what, on what game? Oh, um, Modern Warfare. That's what's up, man. I hope you do good in the tournament. Thanks. Oh, yeah. It, yeah, it's gonna be like me, my friend, and uh, my brother. Hell yeah, man. Definitely make sure you practice. Practice doesn't make perfect. Yeah, yeah this is a firewall. Definitely give you a help with that practice right down there. A realistic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I. I if you plan on playing Firewall, I'm gonna make sure to download mine back. Cause I don't yeah, a lot of fun yeah. in that game. If you want to download it right now, like I'm gonna say, you want to put on that later. Never down. Like, Firewall is that game. Like honestly, I've never deleted Firewall ever. I just can't. It's it's the goat. Even if I'm not playing it, it's the game. Like when I want to go shoot, I want to go shoot. It's it's like there's no. It's the goat. Like it's literally the goat. On top VR game still holds it, still holds it to how cross platform is, you know, still holds an amazing strong player base for it. It's been years now on its belt, you know. Oh, it's one of those OG games that like, you know, stay popular. Yeah, stay popular hard. You know, you like to play horror games on Rec Room. I uh, RIP uh, my entire community. Yeah, they, he answered it. He doesn't yeah. get scared. That's exactly. You really, really comments on stream? How do you know? How do you know? <laughs> no, I just, I I just know. know, you know. I don't know. I don't know what we talk about. He just, he just knew how he answered. I was like, wait a minute. Like, yeah, he answered it perfectly. Well. Like, he missed it because everybody knows. He, I, I don't, did I say rec room? I don't think I even said rec room, yeah, but he knew. Yeah. I uh, did. You said something about scary. Yeah, I did. I just said something about scared. And, like, it's funny how you already knew someone was asking about rec room. I'm being scared, like it could have been anything. And he was like, nah, you don't get scared on rec room. And I was like, yeah, did you know? <laughs> I was like, that's what we talk about. But he's right. I say this all the time. It's nothing against it. Some of them are cool. I'm like, all right, cool, man. It's, it's nothing against it. Like, I'm like, this is really cool stuff. You know, someone did some really nice, like, I come in, like, all right, you know, they, they did a great job of like immersion, like, I like attention to detail. I'll give it to him. But like, it's like he says, I don't get scared. You just I don't like the way the rec room is like the way it designs it's not too it's not realistic enough for me and no offense even though I love I love anime I love the animation design I love cartoon design it's my favorite thing but it's not realistic to me in a way where no one has been able to nail anything where and I'm actually in fear like I know I've had some friends like even at my age I'm like well this game was pretty scary and I come and I'm like oh, no, 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 sorry, that, was, that was not really nothing you know I'm like, all right they teach to their own you know just, that's just that's just me. So I was like, I guess I'm not even trying to say I diss Rec Room, they suck. I'm just saying it's just not for me. I personally don't get scared when I play Rec Room. I've, I've literally tried it a lot of times. I always give it a chance at some point. 
for community members because like i said my whole community loves horror although they, they all love to play the horror games and that's dope that's what they love to do and i'm just it's i'm just the oddball out of that like literally i am and just you know just, i guess i don't know just the age is different i don't know just the way i am i don't know if it's just because like i thought everybody like i think i was desensitized I'm, I, that's the biggest horror game I was playing, man, it was like Resident Evil Biohazard and Virtual Reality, bro. You play something like that, that game I was, I never forgot. I was genuinely playing that game, it was like one of those games, I'm like, bro, it's, I got to tell myself, like, yo, it's a game, it's a game, let's do this, don't die, it's a game, got this. I was like, bro, don't why are we freaking out, why are we freaking out? You know, like, I was like, I like Undertale, Undertale, I always wanted to play Undertale, I haven't played it yet. I know all about it. I've actually, I've literally went to a live Undertale live concert, and I listened to like them play the music and watch Undertale in the background. It was amazing. Megalovonia, Megalovonia is nice, but I actually never got to play Undertale. You know, I know so I enjoyed it, but I never played it. I know that's weird to say that, but yeah. But fun facts about that. And guys, oh, it's great. I'm back. But yeah, so it's nothing about. It. I just wanted to answer that. They're really because that's why I don't really want to doubt anybody but like trying to say no one's like that's not it's cool to like rec room horror I just don't so I know sometimes people make rooms and like why well, don't I want to go to them or why did I do it it's just sorry guys it's not for me but other horror games if someone's like hey little you might go try this horror game on VR I, I don't even like horror but I like horror only because of VR like I said that's why I'm so picky with it the most horror games are like really banana scary is like bike wheel, like the most top paranormal activity. Like people are like, yo, these these are like like brown breaking horror games. Like and I, to me the reason like, why would you like that as someone who does like horror games, that's a whole other question in itself. I don't wanna keep just going on and rant about things like no one's really asking right now. <laughs> but yeah, I just yeah guys. Just not I host a horror series usually every Halloween comes around. I started to play horror VR games. I literally don't like to play a lot of horror VR games. Just so I can send for Halloween for a stream now. So that's what I do. So a lot of people are like, oh, I've never seen a horror game in a while. You like horror VR games because I wait for Halloween. So we have horror content. Haha. -ha. Nice and fresh. It's nice and fresh horror content. I don't have to go back and play a horror game to be like, oh, there's not a new horror game out. You can watch me freak out in a nice, fresh game. I discover a new game in the rec room. Oh, God, I'm tangled. Dang it. I just pressed the wrong button on my phone. Let's see if I put my comments back up. I didn't get to read that last one. Sorry. I discover a rec room. I discover a rec room new game. This is called. This is. That is called Can You Copy Me? Is that a horror game? Or just a new game? That sounds interesting. Rec room was interesting games. Oh, this guy's talking. I think. Well, it sounds cool. I was like trying games, so next time I am on Rec Room, please be feel free to just show me. Especially if it's a game we can play with the community. Those are my favorite games, guys. Just to know, like, if everybody knows me, I'm the type of person who's like, once we have a community meetup, I only play with the community and I don't leave community members like once we have a bigger group once someone is there we, we don't play games to leave people behind that's how I am so once we have a smaller group I sometimes I try to take advantage of that because once we have more people I don't leave nobody behind so as in more players the better can you play with me a two player a two player when you have time I could definitely play if you have a two player of time but that's that's the thing buddies like that's what I'm trying to say a rec room is very like a rare sometimes like i know yesterday like what you were doing on stream yesterday that's because i was just in locked in my room for a very long time i didn't invite anybody until i slowly started letting in the stream and then that slowly would be out of my room until the full rec room meetup finally initiating you know usually like i said if i don't do that just, we have a decent amount of members around so i'm always down like i said my favorite thing is taking advantage usually of, i don't get to play a lot of one player, two players, or rec room games, which usually are really fun games. So I'm very down, but like I said, we just have to take advantage when we have time. And hopefully you're there, and we're hanging out, or we're hanging, having a meetup, and people slowly get off. Then we can go right. play for a while before a whole bunch of new people come on. Like that's just usually how it works. I'm definitely down, but it's just tricky on rec rooms, to be honest, because there's just a lot of members who love to, once they see, like, oh, Lemus is on rec room, it's game time. What the hell? Is that you? Paper? 
pip. Got a lock on me. Uh, I move it up from the back. Come on, this will go. Let's go. That's one. Now let me get it on the zone stream real quick and make it look sexy for you guys. You guys see me play many games, and for all of you new to seeing Limitless the Space Pilot, I am a G. I am this the games that I play. I gotta show Paper Play too, you've never really seen me play yet. Alright, I'm kind of over here, give me a little tips and chicks before we go to Loy. Ew, can I still kill him before I do it? Oh, it was like a 3 and a 3 and 1 for I died. Nah, you survived. Look on 3 1. Hold it. Let's go. Got the team on my back, though. She. Okay, okay, but yeah, if you guys don't have squadrons and anybody who has PlayStation, uh, it's free right now. Um, it's just kind of like if you got VR, and even if you don't got VR. Um, what are you doing with your life? Download the game. It's it's an amazing game. It's free right now. It's cross-platform. You can play with everybody, VR or non-VR. And then it has an amazing story mode, multiplayer mode, and rank mode. So once again, what are you doing right now? And, 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 and if you don't like Star Wars, it's still an amazing game. I don't even like space flying games. One reason why I'm playing it, because it's amazing in VR. It's like 60 on Xbox right now. Sheesh! The game is like 60 bucks too, but it has a lot of sales on PlayStation. I'm not gonna lie, I don't, I don't doubt it. I see you, buddy. You're not getting away. You think you can outfly me? Steady. Oh, missile. Oh. I thought you could follow the list of flyer. Die, sweet. Die. Oh, snap. I got one on my back. Uh, hold on, stream. Hold on. Oh, I gotta switch, to, switch engines again. Switch engines again. Switch engines again. Ah, uh, someone can't outfly me. You just crashed. Let's go. You think you get away from me because you're such a homie? Okay, bro. Woo! Let's go! I got my boy. Some oh, I'm on. They on me. Guess what? That is the crazy limitless flying of bouncing off things. You saw that? They, they're just like if they imagine seeing someone do that. No one does what I do. I was trying to tell something about paper, but like Vance flying like. I literally bounce off things, spin and rotate and drift, and then boost and I do it. Like, I can, you do, like, no one knows how to keep up with that. They're like, yo, this guy just flew into the freaking wall, spun off of it, rotated and boosted again. And then if, if he tried to keep up with me, I did it again in a second, chose whatever direction I wanted and boosted off. I lost them all. They They're like, me. yo, what is this man? Who is this man? Remember this monster. Remember me. I see you. Someone's on my homie. I'm coming to hit you right now. Oh, someone's on my back. Too tight. Someone's on my back. Too tight. Someone's on my back. Too tight. But I'm too lit. I fly in. I didn't want to go up and try me. Ah, oh! Who's on my six? I can see you. There's two of them. Jeez Louise. Hey, Papa, I was looking for you. All right, got charged up. One, two, three. missile off. Pop up. Steady. Steady. All right, my bad. I had to go do something for my mom. I thought you, yo, I'm going air right now, bro. <laughs> like, yo, like, this is the one time I'm going, hey, you in here? I'm just like, oh, shit. Hold back. Hold back. 
Uh, I did my move. I was even oh. telling you too. She was like, "Damn!" I said, "He's dead. He's dead." Boost on. Get a little closer. Uh -uh, uh -uh, uh -uh. Oh, he can't fly. Oh, he can't fly. Stream just flew into the pillar. He couldn't get away from me. He couldn't flee. Get out of here. Oh, you're not getting away from me. Oh no. <laughs> Yeah. Look, rotate. I flipped off the wall right into the stream. Y'all saw that. Lily went to a pillar. 360 flipped off to that. Still alive. Yo, my level! Whoa, That's why you know I love this game, guys. You guys, look this guy's just flying circles around me. Yeah, it's what I'm saying. You say, if you say A win pilot or I'm like, ooh, I died. I killed myself. I tried to do something crazy. I messed up. I, like, my first, my, my literally second kill in the game, guys, was myself. That's what I said, because I basically messed them all some crazy. I was supposed to do some crazy, like, 360 drift around the whole meteor. To lose the guy, and then I'll try my back best to maneuver. Side. Yeah, that's what, I, that's what I tried to teach you earlier. At least the basic one to move around faster is you have to decelerate every time you move. At least the yep, half that's what boost. I keep doing. Yeah. That's what I have to do when people are, like, flying so fast. I, like, stop a little earlier, you know? Yeah. Just so I can keep up so with you them. can rotate it faster. That's, that's the norms, though. Like, it's actually part of the game, though, like... Of the controls, it's like it literally teaches like decelerating is like how you ultimately move your your ship at any ship's ultimate speed to turning faster. So I'm always basically like basically like I always go up down. When I'm turning to aim at someone, Ooh. I'm basically always going up down up down. It's like shooting thrust, pulling down thrust, pulling shooting thrust, pulling down thrust. You know what I'm trying to say? While I'm aiming for them, so I'm always keeping speed and slowing down and keeping and turning at the pace that I need to. You know what I'm trying to say? I don't know if that makes sense, but. Oh yeah, I know what you mean. Damn, we're, we're wrecking right now. Let's go. I just got this guy's six. Oh, Limits is on your six. Oh. There's missile. Let's go. I got you. Well, me and Riley right here. Let me start marking them up. I team you know, this guy's with me right here hard. If you look at your radar right now, I just marked up somebody that will flash. If you double tap triangle right when I do that, it'll give you the guy. And I'll acknowledge that you're basically gonna hunt them down with me. But like, okay, acknowledged. He crashed? Did he just crash? Oh yeah, he just crashed. You know, he's got the killer. Bougie flyer. I got you. Ooh. I was trying my hardest, but he was just on me, man. I was flying through like tight spaces and everything. Yeah. It's all good, man. He's still learning, man. You're doing great, actually. You're still learning. Like, you're not, you're not, you're not getting bodied. Damn it, my shields were totally on my front. I never switched them back. I'm an idiot. I got body rocked. Like, yo, how did I get lit up so quick? I never switched them back. Oh, you have to back. switch them back. I, I've yeah. been just keeping them more. And that, yeah, if you basically if you, if you keep, if you basically put them on full back, you literally have no shields on your front. So if you don't ever put a shield on your front, someone shoots you from the front, you're gonna, you're gonna get eat up. So yeah, if you basically put them to front, you never put them on your back, you never do. If you keep them on balance, you never have to touch them though. It's an automatic all around you shield. There should be a little in I don't uh, really intercom use balance for it. at all. Yeah, me either. Like I'm... It's, it's it, personally once yeah. you're really good, it's better to be switching them constantly, putting more power exactly when you need it at all times. You know, mm -hmm. once in a blue moon, I might have balance. Like basically, if I'm trying to just get away and I can't even focus, and I'm like, I, I'm literally like, it's like four against one. I'm just like, you know, balance, fly, fly. I can't even focus on the other one right now. Just fly, boy. But that's rare, you know. But it does happen once in a blue. Also, do you like when you activate your shields? Do you like I um, I focus all my stuff on my um my engine, so I have my shields on, you know, while I'm flying away. Oh yeah, I, I basically no no. I always put my shields on my B hand if I if I'm focused on my B hand. Ooh. While I'm flying away, so you know someone's usually on your usually on your six because you're chasing they're chasing you. So that's what you do. And then basically full engines on. You always need full engines on on the run. Like you know on rebels, you don't have many options. All you have is basically you put that on basically blue, and then you let that thing go full agile and agility mode, and you let it. That's the only way you can build your boost. So, basically on Empire, if you didn't notice, when you switch to squares, you can give yourself full a full bar of nitro in seconds. Like, it just you instantly re refill it. That's the perk of not having shields on Empire side. But on Rebels, you know, like I said, you you switch to blues and you gotta wait over time. Hellmiss, I might, I might win this election, John. 
Hey, don't get too cocky. It's anybody's ball game. But hey, I hope you do win. Just like I hope anybody else does win. But why do you say that? Is he talking about the election on the server? Yeah, he said John says he got a lot of votes on his side. But that's what's up, John. Ooh, who's deadly ten kills? Let's go. Where am I in the leader, bro? Let's see let's see where I stand. T first place. 10 and 3, 2 assists. For, that's why I actually played. Let's go. I was like, alright, I'm going to actually try this time. But that's what's up, though, John. I was thinking about actually, fun fact, uh, if anybody's watching the channel, Gaz is here also. A lot of uh, contenders for mayor from the Minecraft realm. Um. I think I'm about hosting it. Maybe it was Thursday or the next Wednesday to have the actual full votathon to finally choose mayor for our first town. Because like I said, I guess we'll make it all in one, even though everyone's kind of a little bit outside the town. Which I feel like we should just make it one, as everybody wants to have multiple, uh, split the towns, have multiple towns. Oh, guys, left. He was here earlier. He was telling me he was, he was playing some Creed, and he's like, you won three back-to-back. -back. If he's not in the stream right now, he's probably playing some more Creed. Or he's on the Minecraft server again. Nope, told you he's there. You sure? <laughs> I figured he was here. He popped up earlier. I was like, usually if he pops up and he's talking about Creed, I'm like, he usually plays Creed and talks with me while he plays. Yo, popping out of nowhere. <laughs> Bro, 10 and 5. <laughs> he's like, No! <laughs> It happened. It happened. So, yeah, fun fact, guys. Um, voting, vote off might be next Wednesday or Thursday for the server. I think it's a good enough time. I think everyone's got to join, who's new or not. Everyone's got to make their opinion. Everyone's got to meet everybody. Can we get this out, man? No, man. The whole point of the whole realm server is that you're more than welcome to be on the server when I'm I'm not off. Uh, when I don't have realms, you guys are forced not to be on my world when I'm not on it. Uh, everybody is more than welcome to be on the world when I'm not on it. And that's that's the whole thing of like we're we're just a mature group of people where we trust the people. Like everybody's been playing nonstop when I'm not there. That's why every time I get on, I'm always like, oh, this is so fun to be on. Because it's always fascinating to see what everybody does. How is it called? What you mean, how is it called, buddy? But, you know, it's always fascinating to see everybody's Minecraft world. Uh, how do we join oh, the Minecraft Realm world? Is that what you guys say? Uh, just get on the Discord. The game, the Minecraft Realm, or are we talking about Squadrons? What game are we talking about? Well, because right now, the community we're talking about, our mind, we have a specific Minecraft Realm. I know a lot of you guys are new from yesterday's Rec Room Meetup. Uh, but we have a Minecraft from. So, yeah, you just join the disc. Discord! I, I don't have a bot. I'm sorry. I don't have a bot. I'm not. Limitless is so basic. I'm not I'm not fancy. I don't have a computer. I don't have any of the cool stuff. I don't even have, like, a... Yeah! When you guys follow, I wish. I was hoping. I, I was hoping, too, that it would pop up. And then maybe this the Twitch just had it there. <laughs> but I don't. It's all good. I'm sorry. But I do have it on my uh, Twitch account. I It should be an actual little um, attachment under the bio. I don't know oh, oh, how to One of the panels of the description about me. It just says join this non-toxic community. should have a Twitch symbol. You click on that. And then it should take you right into the Discord, guys. And that's how you get on Discord. Also, my YouTube is there, guys. If anybody doesn't know about that, please support my YouTube channel. I'd appreciate it. You don't have to. But I would appreciate it. Uh, YouTube channel is going to be a lot more of a, a lot of permanent uploads of different videos. So you guys who haven't seen certain games should see it there. I need to, I, I don't really, I'm not good at editing. So sadly, I, like they're not all editing them, like the best edits there. But I got a couple of clips there. Uh, my YouTube channel will be having my future um, IRL life videos in real life. I'll be having a lot of in real life videos of me and my life in Miami. Showing you guys the, um, what I, how I live in Miami, the best spots that I enjoy to eat in Miami, the most interesting spots in Miami, there's a whole different series coming out that will all be on the YouTube. But I even have like, a cameraman that I'm supposed to start to help me with, but you know, just because Corona, everything's been pushed back. 
So if you guys like just want to keep up with that, when that random me is gonna drop, this just support. Yeah, um, look at the YouTube channel, support, Vanguard subscribe, and by. you'll see it when it comes up because that's Vanguard where it's gonna pop up on by. on the. I know I might once in a blue moon do IRLs and Twitch, but like the series will be mainly on YouTube. You know, because it's just easier to edit videos and do all that. Blah, 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 blah. I can actually put it on Twitch, but you know, that will, it may only be on YouTube. That's just a different series. How is it called? Star Wars. This game is called Star Wars Squadrons. It is. Um, I'm working on bringing the songs into the village. Big facts. That is nice. Uh, this game is called Star Wars Squadrons, guys. It is a cross-platform game. We can all play together from any platform, even if you're on VR, you can play if anybody is new. It is on Xbox, it is on PC, it is on PlayStation. I think it's, it, I think I could be wrong. I think I'm wrong, 100% wrong about this one, so I'm really not sure about this. But it might, it might even be on Switch. It might even be on Switch. I feel, so, I feel so cool. I just got away from somebody. Best feeling ever, right? Best, <laughs> yeah. You feel like a boss. You're like, who's a G flyer? I am, because you know you just like flew away from like lasers flying at you, <laughs> missiles, while someone's like trying their base, and you're like, no, you can't outfly me, buddy. Not today. You thought you would get heavenly, <laughs> like the ultimate space pirate flyer. And it's crazy because people remember your names, bro. You think they don't? Like, I flew like in between the ship, like you know that big ship. Yeah. Yeah, I flew like into it. And then I did like a whole bunch of spins going like in and out, and you just lost me. You just lost me, and you're like, yeah, the best, the best thing. You're like, hell yeah. Let's say you do something <laughs> like that, like you're like you, you like get a fly, fly. Like I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go in here, do some crazy tricks, and I'm gonna lose him. It's like basically he's gonna crash, or he's, I'm gonna lose him and get out of here. And then you know, and here was exactly. yeah, it worked. It worked. <laughs> Where's the Discord? It's, it's, I don't really, I, I really suck at describing it. It is on the page. It should be where the same way the YouTube should be. It should be the, the same, like, it should be right where it says, like, hey, my name is Luminous Monster. Uh, I'm, I'm a streamer for virtual reality. I'm gonna get a, it should be right under where I describe my, well, if you're on, um, computer, it might be different, but on, uh, just on mobile, you should just be able to just click on my profile. Right when you click on my profile, right under like the description of it, it should be right there. And on computer, it should be uh, under the panels. Oh, well, I forgot someone explained to me on computer. I uh, wanted the panels to scroll down, and you should see it. That moment more down on the stream. Yeah, it should be there. Sorry, guys, I don't have a computer. I don't have a nice setup, so sorry I can't really explain that well. And like I said, I can always drop out uh, the Discord in this off this match. I can always drop it in here so you can join again also. If you can't end up finding it, but it, sh it should be there, buddy. Sometimes it glitches though, so okay, if, if you can see the YouTube one, but you can't see the Discord one, it, it should be next next to each other. So maybe there's a glitch, like I said, and then I was just like, maybe uh, that's the reason why you can't find it. So. Well, I'm here, I guess. But it should be there. But RIP, man. I'm sorry if you can't just find it easily. How it should happen, you know. So like I said, I know it works for some people, and then a lot of people say like they, you're not the only one. But like they, they, something happens, they can't find it. It's happening enough, which is weird. There's no Discord in the bio. What about the pages? Yeah, it, basically, like I said, it, it's it should have a little Discord symbol, but if not, it should say join my, join this non-toxic community. And when you basically see the word join this non-toxic community. Then basically you click on that and then it should take you to the Discord. Look, he thought he can outfly me stream. You saw that? Wait, who's not. asking for the link of the deuce? I think it's Deuce. Deuce is asking this. Here, I'll just send him the link and DM. Oh, that's nice of you. You didn't have to. I asked us out, you know, we're in the middle of a game, so. Sounds like I'll send it to him after, so you didn't have to do that. You're in the middle of a game with me. So that was nice of you. Mr. Nice nice guy said he got you back. He got your back. It always lives up to his OG name. Oh my god. Stop it. Oh, no, you don't. Get off me, bro. I rammed him. I overkilled him, but I should not. Woo! Still alive. 
I'm a dirty son of a Oh, I saw that. I'm so yo, I'm on nine health too, bro. I'm, I'm dead. I haven't got health in a minute. I'm like, my thing is like, weep, 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 Yeah, look for weep, one of those weep. gears. Yeah, it, yeah. Well, I have repair too, but I just did it. I didn't want to go for it. I was just like, you know, I'm just gonna keep fighting. This guy's That's so why, fast. Like, when I killed that guy too, I killed him off and had like nine health, bro. You're like, I started. I was like, yeah, man, I'm about to die. <laughs> I should have just okay, keep fighting okay, people. I'm, I'm 73 right now. Let's go. But oh, if anybody has squadrons on stream and you want to play, uh, just it's easy. Once you're in squadrons, you do tutorial. If you're new, just let me know. If you're cross platform, there's a way to you know, we add each other on EA because you have to sign up for EA. Um, you have an EA account. I'll just make make your own EA account. It's pretty easy. And then uh, we can just add each other as friends there. And if you're on PlayStation, we can add each other to PlayStation. It's extremely easy. I literally have just met people online from cross platform that I have on my my friends list. On uh, because you have a. Uh, Two types of friends list. You have um, this, uh, your your PlayStation, and then cross. Enemies locked onto me. They did that. Uh, I can't read that. Find people. I can't find any. Uh, okay. uh, well, I'm in the middle of a game. I'd appreciate if you added me on uh, PlayStation right now. You know, okay, uh, that's why I even said earlier if Humby wanted to wait till after, like, and my name is Limitless Monster. Literally, it's on, literally on the stream right now. And it's just I'm one S without guy. two S's. Just tell me from stream, and then you're more than welcome to add me on Double PlayStation. Care. You said your chest was missing food even after you put food in it? Is that how you said guys? Yeah, I think that's what he said. You sure uh, you don't think maybe your friend that you've been playing with maybe took your food since he's your homie? And you borrowed it? Did you ask him? Before uh, even uh, suggesting anything? I don't really think anybody would take it for it. We went off at the same time. Well, do you know what time? Do you know if anybody was on when you got off? Like I said, I, I'd be honestly highly appalled if anybody stole from the chest. Like I said, it's not our first time having a Minecraft round. And like I said, unless somebody's brand new, like I said, this is this is. It's just kind of common sense, man. That's that's the one thing that's annoying, which is like at one point I'm just gonna like just not do Minecraft meetups anymore, just because like I said I don't want to deal with this. Like this is like it's annoying. Like, I don't want to have to deal with like people have to steal 24/7. Like bro, I got enough things to deal with, and everybody just can't be mature and follow one. We have we have like no rules in my server except for one. So I don't understand that. Did I get that kill or did I? I think somebody yeah. stole my kill. Let's just put yeah, a whole bunch of that bullets in there. He said no trespassing, no signs. But like I said, yeah, if you know who was on half at that time period who you were on, who's on with, then that'd be easier to help me do. Who to talk to, because sadly I gotta go do that with, and it's just like, you know, that sucks. Then go yeah. squadron, I'm on the way. Oh man, I was hawking him down. Couldn't get away from me. Uh, yeah, I feel my maneuvering getting better. What did you catch like multiple I... times going to your chest? Hey, that's, that's what's up, man. Alright, big facts. Nobody really should be going to anybody's chest, man. Shouldn't even be in anybody else's house. Shouldn't really be. Yeah, it really shouldn't really matter if someone's going to someone's house to see it, but like that should that well, shouldn't yeah. be a problem. You should still but, ask though. You should still ask though, but like it shouldn't even be. A, it really shouldn't be a problem just to see people's houses. That's what I do. I just walk on people's curbs so I can see them. You know, I'm just like we should have that trust. It shouldn't be a problem. It's stupid. 
that, you know, it's, it's just not a problem of, like, just don't touch people's shit, period. And it's, it's, it's just, like, to me, it's just straight stupidity of, like, you're that immature. Like, it's like, you're just going to get kicked from the server and from the Discord and playing with me because you just want to steal in a video game from a, a moment from a moment and a second of gratification because you couldn't follow one rule. So to me, it's like, bro, you're not someone I even want to hang out with, talk with. You're not even someone worth talking to or explaining to me, like, bro, if you're going to do this, I, this has been a, been a thing. Like, if it's someone brand new, it's like, oh, I just joined the server. No one told me. I'm like, RIP, that's on us. We need to have, like, a gigantic sign because no one has common sense because clearly I would have common sense just normally, but that's just, I guess, I'm just older. No, you just don't do that. Just don't, even, it's, even if it's a video game, you just don't take people's stuff. It's the same thing as real life. You just don't... Yeah, like, it's like, hey, man. To, that shouldn't be a rule. It, it shouldn't even have to be a rule. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It shouldn't even have to be a rule. It's just like, bro, I wouldn't go to your house and take your stuff without asking. So when in a video game, which is the same concept where you basically go out of here and harvest a whole bunch of your stuff for hours, which this is how the game works, which I know you basically worked hours to get to this, to just go in and take your stuff without asking. It's just like, bro, like, what? Yeah, it's a game, but it's still like, bro, like, the whole point of this is to respect everyone's house, the immersion of everyone having their own place to keep their stuff safe. It's like, that's also part of the game. So I like, did way uh, better in this know, game. It just, like I said, the last thing I ever want to hear is, like, people saying there's stuff come steam from their chest. I'm like, bro, really? It's happening again. I was like, basically, the only thing is that it happens, like, red flags of the new people joining the servers. I know there's a lot of new people joining. But by the end of the day, the people who are joining, letting those people join, are all responsible for letting those people know not to steal. But like, even Mr. Nice Guy says, this shouldn't even be something that really needs to be told. Like maybe once, but like, bro, like why is it, why is it so complicated? Like that's just just that's like to me, like I'm trying to say, it's like it makes me realize, like you know what, like this is where the problem comes from. Like you know, maybe people around my age don't like playing Minecraft anymore. It's just like you know, I don't, like, I don't want to deal with that. I don't, don't. There's not, there's no system in Minecraft where I can just go look it up and check things like this. Nor do I want to go waste the time and effort and energy in my life trying to go play Minecraft cop. Because no, basically someone's basically secretly wants to go behind saying, I know it sucks for everybody that someone rots the egg out, but you know, it's, uh, sadly that's how it is. And maybe like I said, we'll do it and it'll be extremely, extremely private. And that's just the way it's going to be. It's like, oh, you know, forget rounds. I'd rather just be like those other streamers. Have a way more private way of playing Minecraft. Probably have like three to four people to play with. And that's it. I'll be one of those streamers. And it's just, that's what, it's, it's like I said, that's just, I don't know what else to do with that. Because like I said, I don't want to deal with that. That's just, no. And like I said, and I said, sadly, if that people would ruin that for everybody. Because of their stupidity and their immaturity. That's just a sad thing, man. Because like I said, it's one rule. It's one don't go on people's shit. Don't take people's shit without asking. This it's, this is a conversation that literally shouldn't even have to come back to me anymore, at all. It's just like, bro, come on, like, bro, like, it's like, I got I got better things to deal with in my life than about dumb people in a community who don't deserve to be in my community because you can't even follow the rules about the one thing of respecting other people. Like, that's it. And the worst part is, like I said. Then I have to figure out like a needle in a haystack who this is because we are invited and being nice, letting everybody come in here and have a good time. And like I said, just like I said, this all turns into a can of worms BS because one person can't follow the rules, and that's that's the biggest problem, and that's what I don't want to deal with. So I don't, I don't, you're asking me Discord or a PlayStation? I don't much. I know you're asking. Me, I'm like, send me a message. You just take your pick, man. Doesn't matter, honestly. I don't know what you're asking me about Discord or. PlayStation guys, I know you're asking me to go to PlayStation, but I'm not, not sure. I don't know my, my stupid. I don't know my my messages just went out of whack. I went to channel analytics. I don't even know how I got there. Oh, I'm frustrated clearly. Um, can you please tell me how to join your Minecraft server? I did, uh, buddy. My bad if you didn't hear me earlier, DCS. I'm sorry you had to hear about the the dumb. Um, little problems we had in our Minecraft server because of supposed to be dumb people stealing from people. But hey, all I gotta do is just join the Discord, buddy. Just join the Discord. It's it's uh, it should be on should be on the, the, the Twitch channel. Should be joining this non toxic community. Just click on that where it says that, and then it should take you to the, the Discord link. Just like for the join the YouTube channel, but it, it says that join the YouTube channel or YouTube whatever. You click on that, it takes you to my YouTube channel. 
And uh, same thing with like uh, even donations. It says you click on the picture with the Sanji bending down where it says like it says though, and then it takes you to the picture. I have everything as like a clicking on link, so you just gotta click on it, and it'll take you to uh, Discord. Okay, so we're doing this. Uh, I hope you uh, find it, man. Alright, so I, I forgot to self-post it. Now. Maybe Gas can post it if you can't find it. I appreciate that, Gas. If you got some time, buddy. Just make a... If you do um, post an invitation, just make it a one-day limit for at least for, like... I guess there's... I don't know if you want to join the Discord. I think, like, two people said they wanted to join. Like, two invitations. You know, not infinite, because, you know... If, Basically, once I figured that if you do that by accident and then someone goes on the stream and watches the upload, it can win. Really so, yeah, I just put like at the use of one one whole day of use so you can have as time as you need to join. Oh, yeah, I used to. You know what I'm trying to say. If you can, you don't have to, bro. Alright, so the link is alive. on the website, but it would just help. Because I forgot to do it before I got into the match. Hey, that kill was nice. Uh oh, now I got somebody on my tail. But it didn't that work. Thank you. Well, thanks. <laughs> I don't know what it is about getting kills, but it's just so satisfying. It's satisfying as hell. You feel like a boss. Exactly. You feel like a boss. You're like, it's like you, you get really immersive in this ship, and you're like, yeah, I got him. Like, you feel like I am a great pilot. Like, that's what it gave me. It really makes it feel like, yeah. I am the I am the ace pilot like I am the best space pilot who killed you see my name you see my name like it's like I it gave you hype like that and I was like at me yeah, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. makes you feel good you know makes you feels good yeah it's like damn like, like, like that guy that who killed me limitless monster and then they get the replay screen they're like damn that guy got me good <laughs> <laughs> We're annihilating right now. Good stuff, though. I'm doing better in this game. I haven't died yet. Right, I'm marking up the guy I'm gonna kill. If you want to team up on him. Alright, I'm turning him on. He's dead, though. Oh, I'm gonna shot from the back. Oh, he just stopped to start shooting at me. Oh, no. Whoa, someone just ran into me. Sheesh. Yeah, I do that sometimes, but like, when I'm fighting somebody, they just stop out of nowhere and I accidentally run into them. <laughs> it's it's mainly the things. people I fight, though, because I don't really follow my teammates. Hey, face. I got someone on my six. I'm on this guy. Yeah, I'm, getting, I'm getting chased. Oh, I'm taking damage. Okay. Time to activate my, my profile skills. By London Academy. Come on, gotta fetch him now. Come on. Looks like I didn't learn enough. Get him. Crash. Get him. Two for one. Run. Yeah, I know. I got two guys oh. on. I'm trying to finish this guy off. Come on. Got him. Sheesh. <laughs> It'd be like that, like you're gonna if you know you're like not gonna escape, you might as well finish the guy you're chasing. Yeah, I saw one on my six, now I'm escaping though. I wanted to finish oh, my target, but well, I'm a better oh, flyer, oh. little does he know. I, I see somebody chasing you. I'm finna get him. Oh no, he's gone. I got full drift too. 360 turn around. Look, he's right there, stream. Look at that. Who's on who's six now, boy? <laughs> who's on who's six now, boy? Got him on a missile. Oh man, I, I switched to the wrong gear and I crashed. I'm still getting used to it. Oh my. <sighs> oh yeah, by the way, is my mic too loud? Now nah, you Gucci, you perfect. Oh, he's finally, he finally tried to outfly me. You know he couldn't. Now I'm gonna kill him. I don't kill him, he's on the run. You ain't gonna, you, ain't gonna, you can't escape, you can't escape, limitless. Dead, <laughs> dead, Do people be dead. like, they stop in midair and like try to turn on you, and you end up crashing into them? 
No. Nah. Well, they, they try to do that. If you don't do it right, that's what they do. They try to stop the turn because they're not trying to turn correctly. Like, if you turn correctly, you shouldn't really be stopping like that at all, or you're trying to stop to shoot people. So I, I have crashed into people, but it's not like on the regular. Yeah, because I'm like chasing somebody. They just stop out of nowhere to turn around and like, bro, what are you doing? Yeah, that's, that's what I was trying to teach you earlier. Like, the biggest trick is like, when you're trying to stop to turn, you like, you, you basically, I basically constantly put my thrust up and down, up and down, up and down. So every time you're turning, you're boosting a little bit, then you push down, you boost <laughs> yep. a little bit. So you're turning really fast, but you're boosting on it. So you're turning really fast with the boost, but you're also always moving, so you're not like standing still. Oh my, he just turned on me. We won, man. We won. No worries. You guys are kick. I'm just gonna go. This is my lady. I don't even know who I am right now. Oh, I think I lost. This guy's trying to run. Oh, yeah. He's trying to run, stream. He crashed. He thought. He thought. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I turned. Oh, I can... we crashed into each other. He thought. Hold on. Hold on. I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. Dude, how you not deaf from all the shots? He's on. He's a red. There we go. Oh, the, the rando got the last hit. Uh, I, I, I did one of those. Um, I was fighting somebody. We were going towards each other. I knew I was going to win because I put on my front shield and I um, started shooting at him. I just did the same thing. I don't know if I won it, though. Oh, yeah, I did. Actually, I don't know. I'm 11 and 1. It's my first death. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you've been really going crazy then, huh? Uh, uh, 11 to 1, 1 assist. There's that one guy who stole my kill, bro. That's why I said it. I was like, I got to my kill. I don't think it should be like last hit. It should be like whoever did the most damage, you know? Yeah. You still get the points, though. The game, you know, it has a point system, though. You do get more points. <laughs> Oh yeah. Oh no. Oh damn. I got so I think I, I have a lot of people trying to fight me right now. I had a dope. Did you survive? Yeah, I'm still alive. By the way, uh, who's trying to uh, someone says trying to add me on PlayStation? Did you ever send me the friend request? I just remembered that earlier. My bad. Uh, just trying to make sure I got your request, man. You're more than welcome to add me. PlayStation. How about it? No, I didn't feel like I was ignoring you, or you didn't hear me. I was saying oh. you had me. I just want to make sure. Someone's getting lit up, but I'm coming to save them. Is it me? <laughs> I don't know. I'm getting lit. The guy is—he just crashed, and he's about to die now. The guy was yeah, lighting up somebody, me. and he crashed, and I'm lighting him up. Oh, is that you right there? Is it, uh, oh, yeah, we're shooting the same person, I think. And he's down. Nice. Woo! Uh, they evade that missile, bro. I had to pull off of him at the last second. His teammate protected him. My old didn't oh, yeah. finish it. I'm back on I just did something so smooth. He on. tried to. Somebody was chasing me. I did, like, the smooth thing. I just stopped out of nowhere. It's kind of like what they were doing to me, you know? Except they went past me. Damn, I, I was hoping they would have went inside the bubble. Let me see this guy. Who's watching me, man? Who's killing me the whole time? Look at this guy. Damn, this guy was on me. He was a bomber. I think they finally started to recognize my name, man. They on me now hard. They're like, yo, this is the guy we need to kill. He's killing everybody. Okay, okay, I'm coming. Make it more fun for me. Let's go. <laughs> Make your yoke. There you go, people. You don't have to find them. They're trying to exactly. find you. Well, I, I always like flying away. That's my favorite part. I'll fly them, mm -hmm. get in behind them. It's like, the hell is this man? It's like, you know, when you got two people, and it's like one chasing you, and you still kill your guy, and then you basically outfly the other guy, and he was chasing you the whole time, then you kill him. He's like, bro. I was chasing him the whole time. He's gonna protect me. He still killed me. You know, it's like yeah, it's a good feeling. It's like they know, Wait, bro, they why know. Why still shooting me? Why still shooting? I'm trying to hit him. Bro, he just got me too. Like they're like, ow, ow. <laughs> this guy's insane. This guy's insane. He's the next game, bro, bro. <laughs> Oh, 
Yeah, gotta be the, one of the best things in this game. You gotta be die, 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 die. Oh, he survived. It's not the best, you know. I'm getting chased by someone else. Speaking of that same scenario right now, oh. so I was like, da, 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 da. You got, got two time. people on you. I got time. I know. I try to kill my oh, target I'm, though. I'm fighting one of them. Uh, drift. I didn't drift. Ran out of drift. I tried to drift boost fail. We won. Let's go. You killed the last guy. That was you. No, I didn't get to kill him. He, well, I was shooting at him, but he didn't die. I messaged you on PlayStation 4. All right, big guys. No rush. Uh, unstoppable deadly I like how we got like the most serious like titles unstoppable deadly like you know okay we know who was killing everybody out there <laughs> Yo. Yo. Uh, I'm a level 6 let's go you can finish your game look at it later I'm gonna actually check it out right now our game just finished Oh man, no, no, that, that, well, this that, that's the well, the, 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 I think that's 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 a problem in itself right there because like this this was stated yesterday, like you said, like I'm I'm a, I'm a man of simple rules, I'm a man who doesn't like to repeat myself, like the person you even talking to, like this was live, I spoke to this person face to face, like you already stated yourself. This person was spoke to about this. I already spoke to not to even do that. At, at that one time when the person was doing I was like, oh, it's fine. And I was like, I assumed this person was just trying to see, you know, everyone's point of view. He's like, you know, I thought he was interested. I was like, oh, that's probably, you know, interesting. You know, as long as you're not taking anything and you're just kind of curious, like, who well, this guy is not super house. I wonder what kind of setup they have. You know, it's kind of like a Minecraft thing. So I was like, I was getting benefit of the doubt. He's like, as long as you're not caring, you're looking in, that's fine. So, like I said, it just sucks that, like I said, the, 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 the biggest red flag to me, you pro, the you pro does, you pro, bro. The biggest red flag to, red flag to me, um, I guess, is the fact that that same person was going into chest again. Even, like, I don't even, like, what is a person going to tell me? I was just looking into it. I was like, we already told you not to do that, though. Like, you know, the first time I was giving you a tour, you know, the person was like, oh, that's okay, because I was giving the tour. Why are you still doing it hence, henceforth? Like, there's no reason. There is no reason. So, like, for you to be looking at anybody's chance. And, like I said, the fact that they are even missing things now, well, it's, like, it's automatically going to be you. Because then it's, like, and that person's going to try to defend themselves, not to blah, 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 so they go back and forth. But it's, like, hey, man, I don't really care what you say. You're making yourself look bad. You made yourself look like the victim of the person is this. Something's gone. No one else is doing well, it. Huh. You're doing something that you're not supposed to do, and you're looking in chess. So you're basically clearly the person. That's how, that's how I look at it. It's not, what a, happened? it's not a complicated scenario. Well, Gaz basically says he's missing food. He basically messaged me about he moved. He's basically, he saw someone constantly going to his chess. And then basically he saw and he said stuff were kind of missing and he moved his chest. He made a private chest. He noticed the same person kind of noticed when he did it. And then basically he even put blocks in front of it. Noticed later on he put a whole bunch of food there. The blocks were basically must have been broken down and put back because now all of his food's gone. Did, so did he, does he know who it is? Yeah, he basically said he thinks he knows who it is. He's like he's like no. the same he's like the same person he's basically he's watched. Basically going to his house multiple times is looking through his chest. That's why he felt even comfortable to the point where he's like things were slightly busy. He's like, let me just move all my stuff somewhere. And he made a private, like, you know, like a little hidden chest place. He's like, you didn't, well, he didn't take all my food, just a lot of pork. He just re rephrased himself. The point is he's taking stuff. So regardless of taking a lot that of your food be. or just all your pork, like I said, you're even trying to move your stuff and hiding it that you shouldn't even have to feel like you need to do that. And then you're still missing pork, you know what I'm saying? And everybody's so. nice on the server. You it's, shouldn't it, have to go around every, stealing. Exactly, exactly. But the crazy part is, like, if you just understand every everything on the server, like, Gaz is the number one person who's gave free food to everybody. 
multiple times, free armor. Like, basically, I have lived off gas as food and shared with the community multiple times. I don't, I don't know if the community even remembered or not. I personally, on stream, have gone in and I was like, thank you, guys. <laughs> because he saved my butt multiple times by just giving so much free stuff. So it's like, this guy has literally a chest of free food out there, even if it's ran out. Like, you're going to go to the guy who's basically the main person who's given free, has a chest in the town to give free stuff to people and steal from him? And it's like, sheesh. But, like, the person who actually he thinks, who will not think is, I'm pretty sure you might be right about this because it's kind of like, you said you, you see this person, the person, even you said you see this person multiple times looking in your chest, but this shouldn't be happening. No one should be going to no one's houses looking in their chest. So really shouldn't be doing that. So that's like I said, a big red flag right there. It's like making you, like I said, that person can say it wasn't me, but it's like, brother, why are you doing that though? Because so that makes you look like it's you. You see, if you weren't ever Yo. doing that, you wouldn't even look like the culprit. Because I don't know. I, I don't even go into you guys' chests. If you guys watch, sometimes I go into everyone's houses on stream. How many times will I ever really even look into your chest? There's like no need. There really is no need. If I needed something, I'll just ask you. It's really, to me, I think there's really no need to look in someone's chest. Yeah, there's um, about that too. I gotta, yeah. I gotta dip for like to 10 to 20 minutes. I'll try not to take too long, but I gotta go do something. So I'm gonna have, I'm gonna close. My what the hell is happening? Am I hitting you? Does that mean you hitting, just hit, you hitting each other? My firewall should be finished when I get back. So if you're trying to play that when I get back, okay, I'm, I'm down. Done. So you gotta go, you gotta go All eat right. some food. You said? No, no, I, I, I gotta. It's just, it's a lot of stuff I have to go do. All right, whenever you're done, man, hit me up. Alright, cool. Hey, yeah, I'm definitely down for a rematch, guys. Anytime. I, I love fighting. Uh, I'm pretty sure. I'm, Mr. Nice Guy has Creed too, don't you? Yup. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Mr. Nice Guy, I'm pretty sure you get, uh, guys love some fighting um, in Creed. Or going his ass, I'm pretty sure Mr. Nice Guy be down for some fights too. He's like me, he likes fighting games. You know, he's down for a good fight. You know, I was asking him for a fight, so it's another community member. A couple of us have it. I'm, re I'm ready whenever. Today, tomorrow. Whatever, <laughs> I, I know. You guys loves the fighting. That's always fighting in Creed. But you know, I'm I'm always down. Like I said, fighting is just like I, I've actually trained in real life. I like fighting. That's why I kind of like anime. Anime fight scenes the best. And I've learned to like other animes over the years. But what got me in anime? I think like a lot of guys is like, yo, did you see that fight scene though? Like these these homies went at it, bro. Like that was the sickest thing I've ever seen in life. <laughs> like. So yeah. Sheesh. Attack that target. He said, like, I wanna box you, but we got no amateur fights where I live. I don't know how to start amateur fights. What do you, what do you I'm confused what you're saying, guys. I don't know how to start. What are you trying to start, man? An, uh, an amateur like boxing hey, tournament or community or or non-amateur? I want a real life fight somewhere. What a martial arts gym, man. Yeah, go on boxing gym. Hey, man, just know I no. Hey, they create ain't nothing compared to real life. I'll tell you that much, man. I'll just get yeah, heads up on that. Create a, you know, it's a nice, close, immersive game, man, but it ain't nothing in real life. Especially when you start feeling those punches. And that's going to slow you down and uh, breathe. That's why I always tell the number one thing if you want to get ready for an actual fight to everybody. I was like, yo, get your breathing normal. If you can't get your breathing normal and breathe, you got something else. That's why I say everyone's got like a. Everyone sounds a little bit weird, you know, when you because you have to breathe in every punch. So that's why even I got my own breathing thing. I'm like, you know, I'm like, I learned that from someone else. Like, I'm just like, I'm a breathe like, breathing out in that aspect. So that's why I started making that sound. It's like a different way of breathing, and I like, I was like, oh, this works for me when I go really, really fast. So that's why I started doing that. So that's just me, though. You don't have to do that. But as long as you have a good breathing method for every punch. So you're using less energy and you can definitely practice that in Creed so if you definitely want to get ready for a real fight definitely practice your stamina in Creed and that will go a long way 
and accuracy of punches is another cool thing about Creed. And so you could definitely practice for a real fight in Crash I stated that there are some very nice guys, but it will never be the same. But it'll, it'll, be, it'll be the closest practice, better practice you can get than anything else. That's a fact. But yeah, I send you another message when you get a chance. All right. Uh, let's do this. I'm marking that puppy right now. Trying to get focused back on the game real quick. All these negative doubts. Half the enemy's fighters are destroyed. Superb work, pilots. Oh, oh I messed up there. Oh my god, the guy I was about to get. I'm taking damage. You're clear. Nice save. Yeah, we are annihilating. Yeah, I messed up bad. Oof, yeah. Saved myself, though. You saw that, buddy. But I'm, I, I almost got myself killed. Just bouncing around, out to turn the engines off. I'm a creed, so I won't hear you. You're good, buddy. It's really hard driving. You can, uh, it's not really that hard, but it definitely, there definitely is a big learning curve. Like, you can fly normally, you can fly decently, and then there's, like, flying, like, amazingly, and then there's, like, pro status, like, space drifting and doing, like, crazy things that you see me do sometimes. I'm not trying to toot my own horn, but, yeah, like, those things are, like, I'm, I'm doing a lot. Like, I'm pressing a lot of different buttons, like, turning off my engines, and then, like, I'm boosting, then turning off my boost, and then shifting myself to the side so I can drift, and then, like, spinning around. And sometimes, like, you know, when I crash into things and do flips, I got to, like, time it right to go out at a certain speed so I don't die, take enough damage, flip, then hit my repair button so I heal, go back at full health, and then fly away. So there's a lot of little things that go into it, so it's definitely fun. Like I said, anybody can fly at a decent level, and you can always kill but the game always starts shining. The better you start getting at the game, the, the more the the game really starts to really shine and get funner and funner. Cause you're like you get really more immersed into the game, like because you you start to really understand how much control you have over your ship, which makes the game really fun. I think that's where the game really shines.
No, so if you guys never seen my customization, this is my uh, ship. For the, the rebel side, this is uh, what it is to be in the customization dockyards. I can actually walk around everywhere. I can look around if I want to. It depends on what I want to do. You customize your pilot. You can inspect. That's like what I mean. That's what I meant by you can walk around the, the entire shipyard. You can watch the ships fly in, take off the whole nine yards. Let's see. Pretty cool stuff. You can get in the cockpit of your plane. You can chill on in your plane. Customize your plane even when you're not in the game. And it's like your personal sick hanger. Pretty cool stuff. And you can go you can you can go into the any ship that you want at any time and just chill in the the hangar or the cockpit or customize it. It's all up to you. Oh, I should, I should show you the rebel side, right? Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Watching those ships docking is like one of the coolest things, guys. Like, you know, the so like the game is so like really well, like, I have a PS4 Pro, so playing on Pro, it's very, it looks very, very nice. Like, watching those things fly in 3D with the graphics that it has is just like, sheesh. It looks nice. Like, you know, this is like my gold ship. You know, blast, rush, and the neon impulse coming off of it. So as you can see, you can move all around. Like you know, I chose to come up the stairs. I don't. I can go down the stairs. I can look around. I guess the random things will happen. Like uh, someone docks in, they'll a ship will fly in and dock in up here, or someone would send one of these ships. They'll come and dock out, and they can fly out, and you get to watch it. like just how that works, and it's pretty cool. And the first mission ever, I won't tell you, actually, play the game. But like I said, you get in any ship that you have and you're chilling here in the cockpit, you can get to go in and just chill in the cockpit. And after you customize, you can chill in it. You can come in here and play your favorite music, your favorite songs, just vibe out. In your own cockpit, that's basically what I used to do all the time. Best. It was the best. So they did update the game when they said they would never do it. Thank God. We, we all appreciate it. They added some, you know, um, a race, um, alien races to the Empire, which there was no none before. Even though it's like a red lady. I'm like, hey, we'll take it. We didn't have no other alien-looking people. And all I did was had a blue-looking dude and just had paint on his face. I'm like, hey, we'll take it. Because all we had was humans, and we want alien-looking people. So, yeah. But the, uh, on the other side, has the crazier alien looking more people, the, the rebels. Like, they actually like non humanoid looking people. Have I seen it? No, I haven't seen uh, I haven't seen it yet. Here's my little robot body on the bottom there. But, yeah, guys. I hope you guys, uh, I will check it out right now, guys, 100%. I hope you all did definitely enjoy me flying around. I'm a uh, rust bucket back there. Another one bites the dust. Me and my space pirate gear back there, like I'm an alien. On the rebel side. Hope you guys enjoyed the most monster being, uh, if you guys are new to watching, like I know a lot of, I know we have a lot of new community members. So, I know, I hope you guys enjoy, like, I do play a lot of variety of different VR games, and just enjoy video games in general, 
especially VR, of course, I love VR. I was playing different VR games. Squadron is one of my favorites. That's why I can talk so highly of it. I know a lot about the controls. And if anybody would love to fight with me, if you have it, own it. It's a cross-platform game. Just like cats talking about Creed. If anybody wants to fight on Creed, you got PlayStation. I'm always down to catch these hands. I'm always down to fly with the boys or girls. You know, fly with the squad. And just have a great time. So if anybody's got the game or is going to get it, let them let us know. Let's go fly. Let's have a good time and enjoy it. And guys, don't sleep on the story. It's definitely fun. Definitely a great way to learn how to play the game and get the controls. And definitely, definitely, definitely fun. So you know what I'll just do just for the sake of what can you do in it? What can you do in this game? Or what can you do in story? Uh, in this game, you can do dog fights, which is like the number one battle everyone plays. No, it's normal crazy dog fights. Uh, fleet ranked battles, which we have a ranked mode, which fleet ranked battles is like your full on galactical space war battle, which is like it's dog fights and you're going against real players, but it's like an actual Star Wars war. Like you have like basically we have an objective. You have a there's like a super gigantic space shuttle ship, like the main mothership. We have our own. They have their own, and our objective is to basically um, get over there and destroy it. So as we're trying to go back and forth and take down each other's big ships, you know, when we can get pushed onto defensive mode or we can push them on the defensive mode or we go on attack. And then there's different ships where they can summon that basically warp drive into the match or whether we take different turns on defense and attack, trying to basically push and take out the other people. And then you just kill each other, yeah. There's AIs there's, uh, and um, humans in this game mode because you have also have crazy ships. So it's a lot of fun. I think anybody who enjoys it always a really good fight. Like, you know, no uh, person anyone who really, really enjoys the game and like who really wants like that extra more challenge and more of an immersion of like that awesome space flying war stuff or awesome space flying tactical rank stuff, like to actually work with squads more tactically and with an objective or just a more immersive version of that realistic Star Wars war space flying is that's where you're gonna get in ranked while playing with people when you still can get all that from story mode at least in ranked mode it's a different way of playing so those are the two main game modes we have dogfight everybody loves dogfights it doesn't get old it's simple it's sweet got a squad take out the other squad period dogfight and like i said ranked is a little bit more because you have objectives as you're reading on the screen it's very fun though i highly enjoy it as you play ai over here you can can you do story co-op? No, sadly, you can't do story co-op. That would be Liddy Titties, as a friend once told me. I wish you could. You can create a custom match, play with your friends. You can play custom match to play fleet battles with. You know, so you can always host your own private matches with your own friends to fly against each other if you guys want to. It's always a thing. And you can always do training and then there's uh, fleet battles. So this is for multiplayer. Then you have your quick match in here just to automatically go into it. Want to catch a quick Creed match? Uh, I, I would definitely be down. Definitely. But, uh, I'm actually, I'm just going to play this real quick to show you guys a little bit of story for everyone who's new to the game. But I'm not really going to play. I'm just going to show you kind of what it's like. But I actually got a little couple of stuff I got to do. Because, you know, I might I'll come. I know the whole lot. I'm getting tongue tied. I might come back. Not might come back. I'm going to come back and stream some more VR later. So I still have to walk my dog one, and I got to, like, get some little, little errands out the way. So I was like, you know, might as well get that out now. So, you know, the fact that Mr. Nice could get off, and then he says he's going to get back, and he's on. He's downloading Firewall Zero Hour, if you guys never seen, no, don't know what Firewall Zero Hour is. Or if you've never seen me play it, that's whatever we might be playing later on together. Or I'll be back on some Minecraft if that doesn't end up happening. But Firewall Zero Hour is basically a realistic um, shooter. It's a very fun. It's like Rainbow Six, um in virtual reality and you work with a squad teamwork is key and yeah it's a lot of fun it's one of the best vr vr shooters around and we use aim controllers to shoot each other which mo mostly everybody does that's the way to play it like i know people who have like quest and pcs who literally bought a playstation just to play firewall zero hour and that's kind of what they only play with an aim controller just because that game is that much fun with an aim controller and that much different from almost every other shooter out there. So, if you guys didn't know, now you know. But yeah, this is uh, back to the game. 
Uh, this is just, um, oh, you know, also you guys saw the training room versus game mode now. We need to go up cross on platform story games. We do uh, need good um, um, keyword you said because we do have good co-op um, VR games, but we don't have good co-op cross-platform story games. That is a big thing we do not have. So I just quit. I'm pretty sure you said you just left. All right, peace. So this is the beginning of the game, guys. Prologue. It is a little taste. You know, you're setting up our ship. It's a, you're a first-time flyer. This is how you guys would see today. You're going to play a rec room. Uh, definitely Saturday or Sunday, 100%. But today, I can't promise that I will be playing a rec room. I might, but I can't promise. Because I said, if I do, if I get on a rec room, I'm like, it's a rec room or Minecraft. They're one of the two things that I might end up playing today. But like I said, I might lean the a little more to mind Minecraft. But it might be that. If not, like I said, we'll be playing Firewall Zero Hour if we don't even play Minecraft or Rec Room. So, just so you know, buddy. So, yeah, but definitely Saturday or Sunday. And I definitely will let you guys know in the Discord what we'll be playing throughout the day. What I'm going to choose. But definitely Saturday or Sunday. Do not fear another another Rec Room meetup, which I usually have one a week. Oh, but I will be having two. So, yes, Saturday or Sunday, another record meetup we'll be having. So, do not fear, guys. Do not fear. So, I just want to show you guys the beginning of the game. We calibrate. This is how the beginning starts off. As you guys remember, I saw you guys in the hangar. Now I'm up on top of the hangar. I feel that vibration. He dropped me off. Pre-flight complete. Let's get a clean launch. Lock onto my fighter. This is how you. This is like guys. This is why I started with play the story. It's the best way to get into the game. And deploy out of the hangar. Woo! It's a great way to experience the game. It's a great way to for your first fly. It's a great way to get teached everything. You know what I'm trying to say. It's beautiful. You get to see levels you don't get to see, and actually, the the multiplayer mode. Stand. It's a lot of fun. We'll of oh, if you guys wonder what that sound that was, womp, womp, womp. Was, I wasn't looking at the screen, but these ships warping, which is cool. You see that in fleet battle in this mode. Well, I'm not really playing this. I'm just trying to show you guys like what the beginning of the story would be like, um, how that works. There are also there's moments where we go into the ships and we have conversations with the crewmates. That's 3D, and they have like a 3D like they'll actually be like an actual VR person in front of you, and they have conversations. You get to talk to them, and they'll be like right in front of you, moving their hands, and then be doing hand gestures and all that. So just know that there are that too. So that's how that works. I guess I, I don't want to spoil too much for anybody. Like it's really fun. The beginning teaches you off, and you go into the ships. Um, then you have like you look your conference every time you go off on a mission um, you go into the briefing room on Empire or Rebels It's really cool that you have like an actual like flight briefing and, Like a hologram comes up and teaches you what your the plan is and what you guys need to do to accomplish So it's really it's really like well out thought through. I'm trying to think of when it starts off in Inside like uh, the base so you guys can see what the other pilots might look like or how that works interact with them and talk with them But uh, what I will be doing after this guys if I'm sorry if I'm not really answering your question So I'd love to fight but maybe fight later on. Yes, but like I said I, I do have to going to walk my doggo and I got to get some uh, little errands out the way real quick So I don't have to worry about doing them later. So if I get them out the way now I can just stream more later on um, the, What I often stop after I get on the stream later until I have to just go to sleep. So I was like, you know, it works for the best. I was planning just to keep streaming. I didn't think I was going to get off. But, you know, the fact that Mr. Nice Guy got off because he had to do something also. I was like, you know what? I also uh, changed up my plans and just get mine out the way also. So this is what I meant. So I guess you guys can saw, you know, I might just ship the story mode, what I was using. This is Frisk and Gunny. One of your, uh, your flight um, squadrons that you run with on the... On the rebel side, the story. So you know, All I can I'm just I can is, walk up to him. Up that listening post, we should have commandeered it. 
Imagine the kind of fun we could have had messing with the Imperials, huh? Or the credits we could make. Uh, as your squad leader, I'm gonna pretend I didn't just hear that. Come on, Gunny. You telling me the New Republic couldn't use more intel? And you know war ain't cheap. Actually, that's a good point. I guess once you steal a Star Destroyer, everything Imperial starts to look tempting. You know, we used to be rebels. We turn into a legit republic, and suddenly we all gotta stay on the straight and narrow. The commander's lining up a trap for Teresa Carroll. That's not enough of a con for you? See, <laughs> so guys, the animations are like sick. You see how nice they look? <laughs> but I guess this'll do. Well, when he's right, he's right. Now, how about we get some actual work done? Yeah, so that's what I want to show you. So that's what happens. Sometimes when they break off like that, guys, um, that's like that was a general enforced, like main kind of like story thing. Like I still didn't have to engage with it, but once you go into the like it was automatic forced like dialogue. Usually when that happens, sometimes if they want to talk more or more stories, they'll be somewhere in the hangar, and you can go up to them, and then basically once you go up to me, have a choice to engage with them again. Or ask questions and then it'll add it to more dialogue and they'll talk to you or tell you more stories about themselves. So it's very cool. So like I said, the game is very nice story, very 3D, very enjoyable, it's very nice. I highly recommend it. Very cool. So this is the briefing room. So would you go to your squad? See so your squad's over here. A bunch of different people. We should get started. I don't want it. First, so congratulations. Because you captured the Star Destroyer before. So this you guys see, like, there's a hologram. This is how we do missions. They talk about it. The Empire does not know that. They believe it's still under construction. It's pretty cool stuff. Theresa Carroll will keep hunting Project Starhawk until it's destroyed. So like I said, like, I can literally like, get a legit hologram floating up in front of you in VR. It's supposed to be blurry. That's how the holograms are even in the movie, but, like, you know, it's super sick. that you're protecting a shipment of magnite crystals essential to completing the Starhawk. So yeah, guys, that's how the game works. Draw Teresa and the Overseer deep into the Xavian Abyss, a highly volatile area. Of I'm space. not gonna tell you guys everything. I'm just gonna close it. Break squad. I say well, I want to you guys to see everything. I want you guys to play the game. So you guys want to hear the whole mission, what we're about, what we're gonna do. But if I really wanted to brief again, I could always bring it back up again and watch the hologram again. Congratulations. You know, if I wanted to. So then, like I said, if you always want to go talk to other people, like I said, depending on the moment, some people stay behind. Or uh, like uh, the moments these guys are in here and they have an engage button to talk to, I can walk up to them and engage into more conversation with them. If Lyndon's right, this plan could knock Teresa Carroll off our tail. Sooner the better, if you ask me. Lyndon's convinced himself that he's put us in danger. Yeah. <sighs> can't make him focus on the bigger picture while Teresa's still in it. The commander is a smart man, but everyone has someone who can push their buttons. I wonder if we can push hers, too. We'll give Teresa a harmless convoy to follow, play this out, and see just how far we can lead her. It's all about playing the long game. Yeah, it's, Empire, see how nice it looks there, guys? I just wanted to show you guys. If anybody's new or just like, wow, I didn't think they had like nice little 3D models. That's how story works. They literally just talk to like perfect, cool 3D models, aliens and stuff while you go fly and go off for missions. It's pretty sick. Someone's safe. Next day, the rebellion would know everything I'd overheard. I don't want you guys to hear everything. That's all I'm trying to talk over him. I said, I, I don't, I don't really like giving spoilers out. They're not really spoilers, spoilers Remember, but you know, it'll get you guys to get uh, into the game and watch it. It's also a nice view outside, looking out there. A few tricks of her own. Keep your eyes and ears open. All right. You talk to Lyndon too. See, I'm going to the hangars. I can even like look around in the area right here. See all the people like just 
It's a nice studio environment, but we're just chilling, working, doing the thing, talking. It's nice. And Starhawk's crew. More than ready. I selected the crew personally based on their expertise and experience. They've been training for months. That's good. I appreciate your support on this, General. It's a good plan, Lyndon. Just be careful. I know you have a past with the Overseer's captain. Don't let it cloud your judgment. One moment, General. Sorry. I can't talk right now. Your squadron is waiting. So yeah, guys, this is how that works. That's how we got dialogue. That's how you press the story. Like I said, very entertaining. Very cool. I like the way they did it. Very unique. Definitely felt the immersion of being a pilot. And yeah, it's fun. Good way to teach you how to play the game. And entertaining at the same time. Not a lot of VR games give you a full-blown story from start to finish with great dialogue. So yeah, take advantage of it. So I just want to thank everybody on the who stopped by on the stream. I appreciate it tenfold. Hope I answered everyone's questions who was on the stream who asked me questions for different meetups. Um, the Minecraft meetup. Um, the ones who asked me about my PlayStation um, can, um, network to join, to add me on PlayStation. I hope everybody got their answers answered. I hope everybody enjoyed the show. Hope you guys enjoyed the entertainment to the fullest. Hope you guys are having a great day. Hope if not, I was able to make it any slightly better, any way possible, at all, if I could. And if I didn't, I'm sorry. Can't really do anything about it. But I do try my best, and I hope I can make you smile by saying beep, boop, doo -doo, doo, beep. And if that didn't make you smile, well, I hope to catch you next time. Hopefully, I can try it again. Until that, no guys. I think I always stop by shut this squadron streams down. Post a couple of errands real quick. Walk my dog go. And we'll come right back on live. Some some more live VR content. And if you guys want to watch some more, come chat up, chat it up with me. Love to see you all there. Other than that, guys. I wanna say. Sarnara. Right, Freeze? So the boss wants to Hold on, walk out on Walk out on somebody new. I've heard tales of the Xavian Abyss. They say it's swallowed entire fleets without a trace. Sending our brand new Starhawk in there is quite the gamble. Commander Jades must have complete faith in its builders. It does. And in us. And on that note, guys. We'll be the ones making this ruse work, after all. Welcome to Squadrons. This is my ship. It's not just another I'll see y'all next ship. time. It's a defense against Imperial. I don't fleets. believe you. I'm out of here. Spare inch is packed with lasers. Lasers. Alright guys, I'll see you guys all next time on Squadrons. Every ship is different, if you guys didn't know. If you don't know, now you know. Peace out, roger roger.